What's going on, y'all? Big Tito checking in. Custom 72 volt area rider Kepler. We just out having a little fun with it right now. Just going on a quick cruise. I know everybody wanted to see, uh, just to kind of see it in action. So I figured we just take it up the road real quick. Absolutely loving this setup, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, it's just so much torque, so much power, man. It's absolutely insane. take it for a little let's, let's get it folks let's get it you gotta pretend to pedal you know how that go I mean this thing keeps up with cars like it's nothing mirror so I don't like that because I can't tell what's behind me. It looks like I see the police sitting right there. Oh man. Oh no. Man. I don't know. I don't know if that is or not. But we're pretending to pedal regardless. <laughs> I'm going to turn in here real quick. Then we'll turn around. Yeah, man, like I said, we're just going out for a quick little cruise in this thing just to get some footage. The throttle delivery is so smooth. I love this twist throttle, this full twist throttle, I should say. Absolutely love this thing. All right, let's get it. how quiet this thing is man like compared to the stock setup man it's it's just so quiet the tires are quiet the motor's quiet all you hear is just you just hear the wind and that's it <laughs> man the pull on is amazing man this this new setup is just man it's just amazing Absolutely amazing. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I'm just taking a quick cruise and uh, I just figured I'd talk about it, you know what I'm saying, the system and stuff like that. So um, one thing I would say is that the uh, display, this MB Power display, I like it. Uh, you got your wattage, you got, uh, speaking of watts, look at that, that was, thir that was 1,300 watts. Now the thing is, it's real small, right in this little circle. I don't know with this 360 camera, but right inside that little circle there is the uh, wattage. And all I did was, and we only in power, power level three. I haven't even taken it, this bike to four or five yet. Um, so everything I've done has just been up to, to, to three. And it's already crazy. It's already faster than a stock Kepler, stock wired bike. Um, you know, any kind of stock bike for the most part, it's already faster than and it's just in uh, power level three. But just a, like a quarter of the throttle and it already goes up to 13 right there. That was 2,700 watts just, just now. It already, it already shot up to that. That's the torque and how this thing is ready to giddy up. Look at that right there. Woo. See, I'm a crash trying to look down at, <laughs> trying to look down at the, at the wattage, but that was 2,400 watts right there. So, I mean, if that don't make you smile, I don't know what is because with my Kepler and from what I ask around, most people only got like 1,300 watts out of their Kepler when AR is talking about uh, 1,400 watt. I mean, uh, 1,800 watts out of that thing. Look at that, 4,000 watts just now, 4,300. That was 4,300 watts just now. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. 
it's, it, it's weird because it's super talky, but it's, it's like a very smooth delivery. I don't know how to describe it. It, 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 you would think it would, I don't know, I, I don't know, I can't describe it, but it's just the smoothest thing, the way that this throttle rolls back, man, and then you just feel that power, and it's silent though, it, it's uh, it's really deceiving, most of the time, I, I have this thing on like two or one, well, I don't do it on one, but um, I will show you when we get up here what, what one would do, we'll do, a, we'll do a, um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do a twist, a full twist on power level three, uh, but we're going to do a one and two real quick once we get up here, and I'll show you. Uh, because on my stock Kepler, when I unlocked it um, and I did pedal assist one, it would go up to 20 miles an hour. So a lot of people was upset because they were like they wanted to leave their bike unlocked and um, and still have it. Like if you only have it in one, you want it like around 10 miles an hour, something like that. You know what I mean? Uh, so they felt like 20 miles an hour was just way too high for pedal assist one. Now I liked it because I go long range and stuff and I go all the way to the Baltimore Harbor in one. All right, but here we go right now. So I'm gonna put in power level one and let's see, I'm gonna give it full throttle. Look at that. This is full throttle right here, 12 miles an hour. So that's crazy for something that this, this beast and that has that much power that literally in one, you could tame this thing easily. I mean, I could literally, 12 miles an hour, I mean, I can go around the park, I can do whatever I want, and and uh, you're pretty much goody to go. So, um, I think I got a car, once this car passed. All right, so let's bump it up to two now, and let's see what, 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 the, what the top speed is that is. Let me let that car go in case I catch up to it. All right, here we go. This is a uh, full throttle right there. It's a power level two, full throttle. So we got, what's that, 27 miles per hour in power, power level two, almost 28. Most 750 watt motors, I mean bikes only can go 28. This thing in, in level two almost is at 28 already. It, it's just incredible, man. It's crazy, I just uh, ran into this guy, man. Shout out to you, man, I forgot your name, but uh, I ran into this guy over by the GameStop. He got a, a Jetson. I believe it's a Jason or something like that, but it's a it's one of those bikes that's similar to the electric XP. So hopefully me and him can get up and ride uh, one of these days. It's rare that I even catch somebody riding uh, e-bikes around here, so that was pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I mean look at the torque, wow! I mean the way that thing kicked you back, amazing man. And these tires are absolutely crazy. These tires are so silent, man. I'm just so used to hearing noise all the time. I'm so used to the tires having a road noise because like the normal tires, even if you're not hitting the throttle and you let off, off the throttle, you still hear the road noise from the, uh, the tires. So the combination of like letting off the throttle, hearing the tires, and then hitting the throttle and hearing the motor and the tires, it's like it always kept you, um, it always kept you, you know, hearing noise and you, you, and you start to like kind of gauge your speed according to, uh, so another thing I want to talk about is the regenerative braking and e-braking on these things. That's another thing that's amazing. So when I let off the throttle, it automatically starts to slow down and hit the brake for me, the motor brake, which uh, saves you on your, your brake pads and stuff like that. Uh, see, like right now, I can let off of it. It was already slowing me down just now. Uh, and it doesn't bring me to a complete stop, but it definitely, uh, you know, like I said, will help you with that. Um, I haven't set up the actual e-brake yet, which I'm going to do. I'm also going to get a second torque arm. So I only have one torque arm right now that the kit came with, but I, I purchased another one. I'm just waiting for it to come in. And uh, so once that comes in, then um, let's bump it up to three. I know y'all want to see a little bit. Oh, boy. Up, man, you could you could keep up with any car 
And it's just like the confidence that you have just knowing that you, you know what I'm saying, you can get out of any, any scenario is just amazing. <clears throat> But we're going we're gonna to basically make this right up here and we're going to do... I'm just talking to my YouTube channel, sir. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're going to make this... <laughs> I'm a little crazy, but... <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so we're going to make this right up here and we're going to basically make a full loop and then uh, come back down by my house and uh, we'll call it a day. But, yeah, this this setup, man, is just absolutely amazing. And uh, so let's give it a... We're going to do a little rip right here. It's starting to get dark, so I know my camera is not that good, so let's get it. I mean, it, it's no sound, man. The only sound you hear is the wind. I really, really got to get gotta get my um, mirrors, man. I do not like riding with not knowing what's behind me. Especially if we got the pole pole behind me, I wouldn't even know right now. Like I said, we're in power level three. And this thing is jerky. This thing is like, I mean, you, you start to, you know, you pull it, boy. That thing lets you know we ready to go. This thing eats up hills. I can hear a car on the side of me right here. Here we go. I heard them right there. They just couldn't keep up with the torque. It ain't their fault. You know, they just haven't seen a Kepler like this. All right, let, let's eat them up, folks. Let's eat them up, folks. Okay, 41 miles an hour. We're going uphill just slightly. We're still maintaining 40. Okay, we dropped down to 39. They call me Mr. Throttle only. my first time riding like this so this is awesome oh I, I guess the speed limit is 30 man that's gonna kick you back <laughs> yes sir yes sir this thing is a whole nother beast folks this thing is a whole nother animal Man, this is only power level three. I do not like the fact that I can't see behind me. Because <laughs> I'm not even ghost pedaling right now. I'm just enjoying myself. Oh man, it, the power is insane, man. It's so smooth, man. I, I can't say smooth enough. I think part of the reason why it feels so smooth is you don't hear anything. You know, it, you, you know, when when the normal Kepler starts to get up to speed, you can hear that motor. You know what I mean? Which gives you kind of like almost like it feels like it's struggling a little bit or whatever. But no, it's just just goes. windstorm the other day out here so a lot of the bike lanes and shoulders got a whole bunch of tree branches and stuff like that 
so a lot of times I pop out on the street, but I can see some lights behind me. So we're gonna have to keep it over here for now. I'm just trying to think of what else I wanna say about the system. Um, I don't know, man, I'm just having fun, folks. The boys just having, and you could pedal the bike. Like right now, this is me pedaling. There's no power. I'm just pedaling the bike. So you, you could still pedal just like a regular bike, go through your gears. Um, like if you're going around the lake or something like that, you don't even have to, you could turn the power off if you wanted to. So people say it's not a bicycle because I put all this power. It's still a bicycle. It sure enough is. But we can also giddy up. Man, that thing, boy. Look at the region. Look at that. Look at that. Look how hard the region hit me. It took me from 37 to, to, to 27 just now. I let off the throttle. It, it, it kicked in hard. Now, I got to play with the settings. Obviously, I have a, I mean, I just kind of set it up um, just to get me going. But now that I got everything working and everything, I'm going to actually dial it in now, you know what I'm saying, how I actually want it. Uh, let's bang this right right here. Man, to look down and see 4,000 4, <laughs> 4,000 watts when, I, when when I've been looking at my Kepler saying 1,300 watts. I mean, I went up the Ilchester Hill because like, or, or so, okay, so on the area wide by the website, right, it'll say, like if you read the description, it'll say, you know, 1,000 watt motor. It says uh, 1,800 watt peak, but it says when needed though. See, it's all about wordplay. So it says when needed. So I'm like, okay, maybe that's why I don't see it. So I'm like, but when I go up that hill, I definitely need it, so I'm like, but it never kicks in. And like I said, when I ask folks, I don't think anybody has gotten over 1,400 or, you know, 13 around there, so. I just put new brake discs on this thing and passed, so it's doing that, that gargling noise like when I first got it. But like I said, we about to hook up the e-brake on that thing and that's gonna be insane using the motor brake. I have that on my Dualtron scooter. All I do, all I, so when I first got my Dualtron scooter, right, I don't know what I was doing, but I somehow, I guess the way I was braking, I ended up uh, warping the, the rear uh, uh, brake disc. So I ended up, just taking the brake pads completely out of it because I was too scared to take it apart, uh, take off the back wheel and work on it. So I just uh, literally took out the brake pads so that when the uh, brake disc goes back and forth, it doesn't touch anything. And I just bumped up my uh, my, my e-brake. And I've been using that for thousands of miles, just literally the e-brake, no, no disc brake at all, no front brake, and that's it. So. actually feel like the cars are going too slow. That's pretty crazy.
oh my god i thought the original kepler was insane i thought it couldn't get no better not only did it get better it got way better <laughs> oh man let's pull in here in this ride folks like i said i apologize because i know the camera got to be uh <laughs> the camera got to be uh blurry and the reason why oh we got a deer a deer a female deer uh but yeah that was it man custom 72 volt area rider kepler it is absolutely what you want and what you need no 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 i i mean you know i'm, I'm a different breed you know I, I but yeah yeah anyway let me get out of here appreciate y'all watching and as always god is good all the time i love jesus and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.